Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how to calculate NDVI based on Sentinel-2 images. The first thing we are going to do is uh, download the Sentinel-2 images. So to do that you just go to your browser and just search for uh, Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. Then you click on the first link. and go to login or if you don't have an account you just go right here on the right and click on register. So I'm going to put my credentials now in this page you just go to explore data Copernicus browser My study area for this example will be on Belgium, on the Flanders region. So to choose your area of interest, just go right here and select this rectangle. And you can draw on the map your area of interest, like this. Now right here on the left, click on search, select the Sentinel-2. Cloud density will be less than 5%. For the date, since I want to analyze images from summer, I will choose images from June of 2023. So right here, you just need to choose your data range. So I will choose from the day one to, to the day 30. And I'll just click on search. Now right here, I want to choose an image with less clouds as possible. So to do this, you just choose an image, click right here on this information icon, go to product and here on cloud cover, we want the minimum number as possible. So for the, this example, zero point something. So let's try to find one with less clouds as the previous one. Let me try this one, for example, 0 0.9, but we can choose one with less clouds. Let's try this, 0 0.2. Let's try to find another one, for example, this one, 0 0.04. Okay, this one is way better. Let's close this page and to download, just click right here on this icon. While the image is downloading, let's create a QGIS project. I will create a folder on my desktop as well. I will call it NDVI analysis, for example. And I will save the QGIS project in this folder as well. I will call it NDVI, click on save and let's go back to the website. After the download is finished, I will save this folder right here. We can close the browser. Let's unzip this file and the data we are going to use is on granule in this page, image data, and we are going to choose the red band, so the number four and the band number eight, the near infrared. Now let's go back to the QGIS project. and import these two images. I'll just search for the folder and drag and drop from the folder to our table of contents. Okay, so the band number four is the, the red band and the band number eight is the near infrared. 
to calculate the NDVI, just go to raster, click on raster calculator right here and, and do the following expression. You open parentheses and then you say near infrared minus red, close parentheses, and then you select divide, open parentheses again, and you say near infrared plus the red band. And close parentheses, select the folder you want to save your NDVI, I will call it NDVI, and click on OK. Now, since our NDVI is done, let's remove these two and change uh, the symbology of the NDVI. Right click on this raster, go to properties, symbology, right here, choose single band, pseudo color, change the classes to four, right here, choose discrete, Choose a color ramp and change these values as following 0 0.66, right here 0 0.33, and 0 right here. Now let's change these colors. This one can stay green. Let's change this green a little bit, yellow for this one, for example, and this one with red, for example, click OK and then apply. The NDVI is to analyze the amount of reflectance in the leaves, indicating nutrition parameters, uh, water deficits, plant health and other information. We can see that this result, in this result, we don't have a lot of areas in this dark green. So let me, let me maybe try to change this color to see if we can look better for, for this class. So let me try uh, a blue color and let's see if we can find areas with higher than 0.66. And there we have right here on the blues. Let me just uh, install a plugin so we can have a, a base map. So let's try quick map services. I will install this plugin because I, I don't have it right here on this computer. Let's search for imagery and have a base map so we can see what we have below our NDVI. Let me choose an area and zoom in. Let's see this one. In this example, we can see that in the red class, we have areas that appear to be primarily bodies of water. If we zoom in on the yellow class, in the yellow classes, we will have urban areas and vegetation with some type of problem. And in the higher classes, we can then find healthier vegetation. Let's zoom in on more two or three areas. For example, right here, which seems to be a water body. Here on the urban area, we have a lot of, of the yellow color and the, the green color as well. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. This type of analysis can be very, very interesting in various areas of study. So if you have any, any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.